Okay, I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time. Uh, we bought this lithium golf cart battery for this 1995 uh, golf cart DS. And uh, we bought this lithium battery to convert from the old uh, batteries over there because they were no longer any good. So we decided to go with lithium. And we bought on Amazon uh, 105 amp hour Vature lithium battery and um, the measurements on this thing um, I thought it was gonna fit in the golf cart and when it first when it first arrived I was thinking it wasn't gonna fit but if you have a 1995 DS it will fit without any modification to the frame if you have a DS uh, of this year you're gonna know about this frame down here that goes across I mean it's aluminum so the battery will fit without having to do any modifications to the frame. Um, you have to take the seat off. I got up there. The battery measures 12 and a quarter by 18 long, or yeah, 12 and a quarter wide by 18 long, and it's nine tall. If you put it in 18, uh, if you put it in lengthwise and get it under here, you can turn it and it will mount in this orientation now you will have to get underneath the golf cart and put you a bracket across there um, that's what I did the battery comes with um, mounting bolts in the front and in the back it's a very stout battery it weighs like a hundred pounds but um, doing this review video so that uh, you guys can see that it will fit and we're very happy with the battery it comes with the charger and um, I went ahead and mounted it in here I went ahead and put these um, galvanized plates all the way across the bottom to kind of protect the battery it's already in its own sealed metal case but to give it a little more protection I put that along the bottom and then mounted the uh, charger over here on the left side yanked out all those old batteries we still do have the V glide system I took out the old um, charging port and just used that hole for the uh, new charging port or for the new charging connection which is just uh, basically you need your regular house plug ex extension cord now, you don't have to do it that way um, you know it comes with this lock system here that goes onto the charger you can just leave the charger outside the golf cart but we wanted just to be able to pull up and plug it in but you will have to um, disconnect your onboard computer system you'll have to yank that out and then um, there's videos on YouTube that I looked up on how to do all that and then it's really just real simple it's got a Bluetooth um, capability so that you can check the maintenance of the battery and it's like state of charge from your phone but it's also got a little touch screen that I mounted up here it's already uh it's already angled with a little mounting clip or with a mounting bracket so that you can just I just skirt it to the thing there and uh keeps track of how many times you've charged the battery um if you look down here at the bottom it's got page one page two page three page two um you can turn it on uh discharge you can turn that on and off so that you know somebody comes up they try to steal your golf cart uh it's battery disconnected from the golf cart so it won't move uh charge on and off and then over here page three if it'll click on it uh tells you this the state of uh, charge of each individual cell inside that battery pack so yeah this is uh wasn't a cheap battery by any means, but came with everything we needed. This is how I did the plug. It's just a regular plug. It comes off of the charger. And then the charger, the battery itself has a port. It's like an aircraft port or something like that in the front. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see it because it's a very tight fit, but it will go in there. And then what I did over there, 
because I wanted to have just the battery connected by itself without any type of like um, what do they call those things um, where it reduces the voltage uh, a converter for the lights and stuff I just put a regular 12 I had an extra 12 volt battery laying around so I went ahead and just put it in there for my lights and other accessories so that I don't have to have what a step down converter that takes the voltage from 48 volts down to 12 so my headlights and everything run off of that separate 12 volt battery but the golf cart runs off of this 105 amp hour nominal voltage is 51.2 volts but uh yes it does give your golf cart more pick up and go so if you have one of the golf carts that are like lifted or with uh wheels like ours all-terrain wheels or whatever you call these things um, off-road wheels or whatever uh, you know it does draw a little more power from from the batteries uh, to get up and go so this bat you know the golf cart was doing fine before but then batteries weren't staying charged and uh, it was time to get a new set of batteries but I was like thinking well let's go ahead and upgrade to lithium and uh, so we have been very happy with the Vetra battery from Amazon we went with that battery because I was worried about buying an Amazon lithium battery um, and then having something happen and not even not being able to get our money back or take it back or whatever but apparently that battery is sold through Walmart too so I was thinking well since it's sold through Walmart and uh, there are a couple of videos on YouTube about these batteries people being happy with them I did my research and uh, we went ahead and decided to go with Vetra. And this is not a sponsored video. This is me doing it uh, just to let you other people out there know. For this year model and make of golf cart, that will fit. Now they do make a slim model. A narrow, what they call narrow. And uh, that may have been a better option. It may have been a better option. But um, I wasn't aware of that size at the time. So... Um, make sure that you measure and double measure your battery compartment before you order the battery because I had measured it but I didn't take all things into consideration and then when that battery came in and it, it was in a very well pro uh, protected box very stout triple walled box with foam all around it uh, no damage whatsoever I mean it was a huge box and uh, yeah, I can't say enough about this company that they, they do a really good job. I've watched some teardown videos on YouTube about the insides of this battery and they are put together put together very well. And uh, they give you all the mounting hardware for it. They even give you the, the uh, screws to mount your um, cables to the front. Everything's included in the package when you order it. So... You you know you just have to get under there and route it route the wire for the for the screen which is just plug and play very simple they give you the instructions and then um, the only thing I have to complain about is the Bluetooth app uh, I don't really care for it uh, it was a little bit hard to find on the Google Play Store but once I found it they give you the little QR code to scan and it's supposed to take you right to it but then there's like multiple versions of it and uh, I wasn't sure if I was downloading the right one anyways it's not called Vetra or anything like that it's a totally different name with a little elephant icon or something like that it's kind of weird but I do have it downloaded on my phone and it does work the Bluetooth part and the app but you know I just prefer to come out here and look at the screen and then we just roll up I grabbed the extension cord right there and just plug it in the front. So, this is my review video for the Vetra 48 volt 105 amp hour lithium golf cart battery. And I imagine these batteries would be good for other things like, you know, off grid backup battery supply stuff like that um, some of the things the battery does is awesome you know it's got its own on off switch in the front there's a little green LED that comes on so the, uh, you know when it's on 
you can come out here and turn it off it has already gone through its first winter we got a winter storm that rolled in literally weeks after installation and I was worried about it being out here in that kind of cold weather it got down to 16 degrees the battery shuts off I believe at a certain temperature so that way you can't mess it up by trying to charge it and so uh, after it thawed out I came out here and um, you know everything still works just fine so it does not have a heater on it or anything like that now they do sell models with internal heaters I believe so if you live in a cold area you might want to think about that but yeah we're very happy with the battery and uh, this is my basically simplified review video of it so thanks for watching and uh, hope this helps anybody out with a 95 golf car DS golf cart club car DS